Hello and welcome to Learn Tagalog Lesson 3-4. My name is Alan. In this video we will look at the word my. There is, there are, has, have. And we're going to look at many examples of how to use that. Okay. Now that is part of our conversation that begins this Lesson 3. And we've been using it going through the different um, the sentences in the conversation. I want to focus more on this word my because it is very common in the language and I want to just uh, look at various ways of using the word. Okay? So we started out with my anak po bakayo. We've already learned what that means. Do you have do you have a child? Okay. So um, we're going to go through and see other ways of using the same word. So we know that my means there is, there are, has or have, okay? And I want to show you some examples of using my followed by a person, place, or thing. For example, my bahai or my lalaki, my babae, my anak, my tindahan, my bahai. That means there is a house. Okay. What's on the corner? There is a house. My bahai. Who's outside? My lalaki. There's a man. Okay. My babae. My anak. There's a child. My tindahan. What's on the corner? A house or a store? My tindahan. There's a store. Okay. How about my kaibigan ako sa Quezon City? We know that word kaibigan, right? Friend, kaibigan, friend. Have friend I in Quezon City. I have a friend in Quezon City. Now when you look at these sentences, um, if you listen to this audio or this, this video over and over, you may want to um, substitute in your own things, okay? Maybe you have a friend in Manila, in Manila, and or you could say uh, maybe you have a, a brother or sister or pinsan, uh, cousin, okay? So you could say, my pinsan ako sa Quezon City or my, pin, uh, my kapatid ako sa Manila, all right? And as you learn the words, start substituting in these different things. That's how you learn. Um, my tindahan kami sa Manila. We have a store in Manila. My bata sa labas. My bata sa labas. Bata is youngster. It means young, okay? But a youngster or a young person. Young person. Um, sa labas means outside. You could also say sa loob. Sa loob. That means inside. Salaob is inside. Salabas is outside. My bata salabas. There is a child outside. Or there is a youngster outside. My trabajo sha sa mall. Has work she at mall. She or he. Okay, sha can be he or she. So, has work she or he at the mall. My trabajo kaba. Do you have work? Do you have a job? These are good ones to know also. If you, uh, if you ask somebody how they're feeling, uh, they may not be feeling well. They may be sick. My sakit ako. My sakit ako. Have sick I. Have sick I. My sakit ako. I am sick. My upo ako. I have a cough. Okay. My lagnat ako. I have a fever. My sipon ako. I have a cold or a runny nose. My sipon a cold. My sakit basha. My sakit basha. Does she have a? Is she sick or is he sick? My ubo ba sila. My ubo ba sila. Do they have a cough? The word sila means they. They. Sila they. Um, and there's ubo is cough. My ubo ba sila? Do they have a cough? My sakit kami. My sakit kami. We are sick. 
we are sick. You can ask somebody, how's your family? Family is familia, familia. Um, Como esta ang familia mo? How's the family of you? They may say, my sakit kami, my sakit kami. We're sick, we are sick. They may say, hindi mabuti, not fine. Or um, masama, bad. Okay, I'm not feeling good. My sakit kami. Okay, let's look at a short little conversation here jo uh, between Jose and Roy. Kumusta ka, Roy? Hindi mabuti. May sakit ako. Ganun ba? May lagna ka ba? Wala. May sipon at ubo lang. Kumusta ka, Roy? We know that means how are you, Roy? Hindi mabuti. Not fine or not well. Remember mabuti? Mabuti naman. You know, kumusta kayo? Mabuti naman. Uh, mab mabuti is fine or well. He's saying Hindi mabuti, not fine. Now Hindi means no, but it, it can also mean not. In this case, it's being used as not, not fine. My sakit ako. I am sick. Ganun ba? He's asking, is it like that? Is that so? Okay. Um, you could also use talaga, which is really talaga. Oh oh. Ganun ba? Is it like that? My lagnat ka ba? They're asking, do you have a fever? My lagnat ka ba? Do you have a fever? Wala. My sipon at upo lang. And then when when you're asked the question, my, do you have something? If you don't, like in English, do you have a bicycle? No. <laughs> we would say no or yes. Okay. Uh, in Tagalog, if you're asked, do you have something, you wouldn't say no, you would say wala. That means without, don't have, okay? It's because you're asking, do you have, and you would say no, I don't have. Wala, wala, don't have. Um, my sipon at upo lang. Lang, we learned that word before, that means just, okay? Or um, only. I just have... Um, a cold and a um, cough, okay? Or uh, I only have a cold and a cough because they were asking, do you have a fever? All right, let's go on to some more. I'd like to show you some examples of my followed by a number or a word that describes something. So let's look at some of those. My dalawang bahay sha. My dalawang bahay siya has two houses, he or she. Bahay is house. Dalawa, we learn that word is two. Okay, dalawa. My two house, he or she. So she has two houses, or he has two houses. The next one is using the word lima, which is five. Lima. Lima is, uh, it ends with an A, so we use a NG linker at the end, nung, limang, limang lalaki, lalaki is man, so limang lalaki is five men, okay, salabas, that means outside, my limang lalaki, salabas, have five men outside, okay, the next one, we're using sila, they, the word they, sila, Sila. Tatlong anak. Tatlo means three. Tatlong anak means three children. Okay. My three children, they. Have three children, they. They have three children. My tatlong anak, sila. The next sentence. My malaking bahay kami. Malaki means big. Malaki. Malaking bahay, big house. We're using the nung linker between the two. Malaking bahay kami. Have big house we. We have a big house. Then the last sentence is pula. He's using pula, which means red. Pula. Pulang bahay, red house. Pulang bahay, red house. My pulang bahay ka. Have red house, you. You have a red house. 
Okay. All right. Here's some more. My Dalawang Bahay Kaba. Two houses you have two houses you. Do you have two houses? My Dalawang Bahay Kaba. My Magandang Bahay Ba Sila. Now we know Sila means they. They. Okay. Maganda is beautiful, just like magandang umaga, good, beautiful morning, magandang hapong, magandang gabi. Remember those? Okay, magandang bahay, beautiful house. But they're putting the word ba in there as a question. Have beautiful house, they. Do they have a beautiful house? And the next sentence, my tatlong anak si, my tatlong anak sha. My tatlong anak sha have three children. They, they, or he or she. I'm sorry, sha is he or she have three children. He or she. So, he has three children. She has three children. Okay. The next one, the last sentence, uses the word dilao. Dilao means yellow, and I put that one in there because I wanted to point out something. Notice we've been using nung linker there. In Maganda, we used nung linker. Dalawa, we used the nung linker. Okay? All of those words end with a uh, vowel. Dalawa ends with a vowel. Maganda, a vowel. Okay? And even tatlo, it ends with the O. That's a vowel. But this one is dilao. It ends with a consonant, W. So we don't use the NG linker. We don't use nung. We use na. Na. Dilao na silia. Yellow chair. Silia is chair. Okay? Yellow chair. Yellow chair. Na. Now remember, na can be used in many places. Uh, na can be a linker like we just learned here. It can also mean already, and it can also mean now. Okay, and there's some other various uses of na also. Um, we'll look at that perhaps later on, but for now I just wanted to point out that that's a, a linker. So when you're reading Tagalog and learning Tagalog and you're trying to figure out things, um, understand that many times you're going to see na used as a linker like that. Okay? See if there's a relationship between the two words. Yellow chair. All right. Dilao na silia. Sila. Sila is they. In sala, which is living room. Have yellow chair they in living room. They have a yellow chair in the living room. Okay. All right. Another word that we'll use a lot is manga. Manga is the plural marker. Okay? It makes a word plural. Let's look at some examples. In the first sentence there, anak we know is child. Manga anak is children. My manga anak sila. Have children they. They have children. My mga lalaki salabas. My mga lalaki salabas. Have men outside. My mga bahay sila sa Manila. Mga bahay means houses. Bahay means house. Mga bahay means houses. Sila is they. So they have houses in Manila. My mga anak pa kayo? My mga anak pa kayo? Now we learned my anak po ba kayo? You know, do you have a child? They're asking, do you have a child? In this case, do you have children? Not just a child, but children. Okay? And the last sentence there is using it log. Eat low. That means egg. And mesa or la mesa is table. 
So they're saying, have eggs on table. There are, or there are eggs on table. So there are eggs on the table. So going through each of these again, uh, they have they have children. The second one is there's a man outside, or there's men outside. The next one they they have houses in Manila, and they do you have children? And there are eggs on the table. Okay. All right. Now this one we're going to look at my followed by an action word, okay? Verbs. My nagtatrabaho rito. Have working here. Rito can either be start with an R or a D. If it if the preceding word ends with a vowel like this one with the O, it will be an R. Rito. If it ends with a consonant, it would be a D, as in dog. Dito. Dito. Okay? So, have working here. What does that mean? That means there's somebody working here. Okay? Remember this word? Nag-a-arao? Nag-a-arao? Sa aklatan. Library. Aklatan is library from the word aklat, which means book. Okay? Nag, uh, my nag aarao sa aklatan have studying in library. There's people studying, or there's somebody studying in the library. And this one, my manga nag babasa sa aklatan. Nag babasa means reading. Nag babasa, reading. Okay. So have. Uh, people reading in the library. Okay, the next one is not using natatulo. Natatulo means sleeping. Have or there is sleeping in the house. That means there's somebody sleeping in the house. Okay, good. Natatulo. Now, the word my. Um, has been contracted and put into many different words. And I just think this is interesting uh, to understand a little bit more about the language. Let's look at some examples. Now, we know maganda, right? Maganda, like maganda gomaga, beautiful morning. Ganda means beauty. Ganda, like you could say, anganda, <laughs> you know, the beauty um, or if you wanted to say the beauty of you, like, oh, the beauty of you, um, you could say, angandamo, angandamo, the beauty of you, okay? So, how about, my ganda has beauty, or there is beauty? Well, if something has beautiful, or has beauty, it must be beautiful, right? And that is the word, maganda, beautiful. How about the second sentence, balakat? There's a tree known as the Balakat tree, Balakat. And there is a town in Luzon, the big big uh, the biggest island of the Philippines that is called Mabalakat. Okay? And the reason it's called Mabalakat, I've read this, I'm not positive I wasn't there when they named it, but they said that um because there was many Balakat trees. There was a lot of Balakat trees, okay? My Balakat. There is Balakat. So it became Mabalakat. That's the name of the town. Okay. How about Layo? Distance. Layo means distance. Has distance. Malayo. My Layo. My Layo. That was contracted to Malayo, which means far. Far. It makes sense, right? Has distance. Or there is distance, it has distance, it's far. So you can say Malayo Ba, is it far? Malayo. Oh, oh, Malayo. 
Yes, far. Um, mahaba has length. Length is haba. Mahaba, long, long. Like mahaba ang buhok bo. Buhok is hair. Mahaba, long, ang buhok mo. Long the hair of you. You have long hair. Okay? Mahaba. Mataba. Mataba ako. I am fat. What they have is my taba is um, taba is fat. Okay? If something has fat, it is fat. Okay? Mataba. All right. That was fun. Okay. Examples of using my. What I want to do is just go through different examples to kind of give you a feel for these. You've already learned a lot about my. Now what we'll do is just kind of look at more examples of them. Um, and some of them will be a little bit different than the way we've already used it. Okay. My Bahai Bakayo. My Bahai Bakayo. Do you have a house? My Lalaki Salabas. There's a man outside. My Anak Basila Owala. Have child they or without okay you wouldn't say do they have a child or no or do they have a child or not in this case voila do you either have or you don't have have my anak okay or walang anak without child walang anak so they're asking do you have uh, do they have a child or no or do they have a child or not Okay, or no child. My dalawang anak basila o tatlo. My dalawang anak basila o tatlo. Have two children, they, or three? Do they have two or three children? My anak na lalaki bakayo. My anak na lalaki bakayo. Anak na lalaki. Remember we were talking about the, the linker na? There it is again. Anak na lalaki child male okay male child and there's a relationship between those two that's the linker there it's describing the the male it's a young it's child male okay um, and then bakayo you question my anak na lalaki bakayo do you have a son do you have a son Okay, and some more. My tatlong anak ba sa pamilya ninyo? My tatlong anak ba sa pamilya ninyo? I, re I mentioned earlier the word pamilya. You know, like kumasta ang pamilya mo? How's your family? Um, in this case, we're saying sa pamilya ninyo. The family of you. My tatlong anak have three children, question mark, in the family of you, in your family. Do you have three children in your family? My tatlong anak ba sa, ba sa pamilya ninyo? Okay. And the next question, or the next um, sentence there says, My anak na ba siya? My anak na ba siya? My anak na ba siya? Have child na already he or she? And in this case, na could also be um, thought of as either already or now. My asawa na si Jose. My asawa na si Jose. Has spouse already si Jose. That's Jose. Jose already has a spouse okay or wife the last one is interesting si jose ang my trabajo si jose ang my trabajo notice the word ang in the middle there that helps us to focus on this part of the sentence that's really important here ang my trabajo ang my the has 
job. The one that has a job. Jose is the one that has a job. Okay? They're saying Jose is the one that has a job. For example, um, somebody would ask, who has a job? Does, does, any, does somebody have a job in your family? Yes. See si Jose ang my trabajo. Yes, it's Jose has a job. Okay? Jose is the one that has a job. I hope that makes sense. Okay, some more. Si Jose ba ang my coche? Coche is car. Coche, car. Now, this is similar to what we just looked at. Ang my coche. But they have the word ba in there. It's a question. Si Jose ba ang my coche? What would that mean? Is Jose the one that has a car? Is Jose the one that has a car? Okay. And the next sentence. My lalaki salabas. There's a man outside. My problema kaba sa aircon. Have problem you in the aircon? Is there a do you have a problem with your aircon? Aircon is um, like air conditioning, like an air conditioner. Okay, aircon. So um, they're asking, do you have a question? Do you have a problem with your air conditioning? Problema. My coche ba si Jose. My coche ba si Jose. Does Jose have a car? And the last sentence is, My trabajo na ba silang lahat? My trabajo na ba silang lahat? Sila is they. Lahat, we learned earlier, that was um, all. Okay, all of them. Do all of them have a job? Do all of them now have a job? Okay, my trabajo na ba silang lahat? Okay, remember, I think we learned lahat when we say, uh, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Okay, good morning to you all. Lahat. Okay. I want to mention a cool website about the weather in the Philippines. Um, I'm recording this in June right now, and in a few more months will be the uh, typhoon season in the Philippines and I watch this website quite a bit I visit it to to see the weather and what's happening there and it's interesting because the word or the name of the website uses my and it also uses some words we've already learned Baguio Baguio okay it's not the city Baguio Baguio it's Baguio Panahon ng Baguio. Remember that? Time of typhoons. Okay, typhoon season. Or season of typhoons. Typhoon season. Panahon ng Baguio kung Septiembre at Octubre. Remember that? We learned that in preceding lessons. My Baguio dito. That should be actually Rito with an R because it ends, Baguio ends with an O. My Baguio Rito. Okay, sorry about that. And what I wanted to point out was this here. Visit mybaguio.com. The name is actually typhoon2000.com, but I like the fact that you can type in mybaguio.com. Have typhoon. Okay, have storm or have typhoon. And uh, check it out. It's a cool site. All right. I do also want to mention my website called TagalogPhrases.com. I bring it up sometimes. I mention it. Um, you've, you, you're learning a lot of vocabulary now. You're beginning to understand more about how the language goes together. It's a good time for you to start branching out and reading a lot more okay a lot more because you have enough information now that you can start to understand some of these things and what I would suggest is you go to places like TagalogPhrases.com and 
you can type in words that you are searching for. For example, Baha'i. I typed in the word Baha'i in the search box on TagalogPhrases.com and I came up with a list of word, uh, sentences that have the word Baha'i in there. Okay? Um, like this one here. Bago ang asul na Baha'i. Asul is blue. Na Baha'i. Blue house. Or, oh, no, actually that's wrong, isn't it? The red house is new. Asul is blue. I need to change that. Sorry about that. Bago, new. New, the blue house. The blue house is new. I had a, um, somebody go through all these, and we there's 5,300 some phrases. And uh, to go through all of these, we went through them, both of us, and tried to find, uh, make sure that everything was correct. And I still find problems here and there. So it's a constant going through and updating it. Okay. Um, so you can see Baha'i used in other places. Iyong Baha'i. Your house. Okay. Anong kalye ang iyong bahay? What street the, the your house? Where You know, what street is your house on, basically? So, I suggest you go there and check that out. And the other thing is, you can click on the little links next to the phrases and hear it spoken by uh, a native speaker from the Manila area. Okay? I just wanted to mention that, that uh, you're getting a lot of words here that you're learning, it's a good chance to go over into TagalogPhrases.com and start searching on them and reading how those words are used in lots of different ways. Okay? Not all the words will be in there. You know, I have something like 16,000 phrases altogether, but I don't have all of those on that website yet. So, someday. Okay, well this ends uh, Lesson 3-4. Um, I hope you go on to Lesson 3-5 and learn some more as I said, we're going to be taking this conversation that we've been working with and dive into different parts of it and uh, explore how to use those words in more depth. Okay, well, maraming salamat. Take care.